so next we're gonna make a charcuterie board and actually it's gonna be charcuterie and cheese. Charcuterie just represents the meat, so we wanna add some cheese in there too. A lot of people like the combination of the two, so let's give the people what they want. So when I'm making my charcuterie boards, I like to make sure that they're filled with plenty options. Basically give all variations of cheese. So you wanna start off with hard cheeses and work your way to soft. If you're not too familiar with cheeses, all you have to do is when you're in the grocery store, fill them. See how soft and hard they are. Also, you can give it a little sniff. The stronger it smells, the stronger it's gonna be in your mouth. Now it's time to add our meats. Everyone always loves pepperoni. And if you can't find certain meats, it, pre-packaged, then you can definitely ask your deli for them. Contrary to popular belief, you don't always have to use pork products when making your charcuterie board. Okay, so now we're just gonna fill in our space with different fruits and nuts and just make it super pretty. It's really nice and full now, but you just wanna jazz it up a little bit more. So I decided that I'm gonna put these cute little champagne grapes on my board because they're just small and cute, and so why not? When you're making your charcuterie, you wanna set out your cheeses and your meats, mainly your cheeses, because you want them to get to room temperature so you can get the full experience of what your cheese has to offer. But I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of crackers for charcuterie and cheese. I prefer bread, so I'll be toasting up some ciabatta bread and some Italian bread and I'm serving that with my board as well. So I think our cheese board and our charcuterie is ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and place this on the table. For more tips, recipes, and lifestyle hacks, please visit rosalynddaniels.com.